Hey everybody, so a lot of people requested the knife catching video to be remade. Um, I thought of taking a different approach this time and perhaps um, give some visual examples and um, let's, some, let, let's put some guidelines and, and some prerequisites for each scenario, whether it be a knife catch or a safer buy, right? They're usually the opposite of each other, but you know, um, it's not that obvious. You need um, a lot more information on the charts just than saying, oh, it's an opposite because by the time you actually sometimes realize that something is in an uptrend, especially for um, the beginners, right? And even for, for a lot of intermediate or advanced guys, right? It's, it's, it's too late, right? Because you want to catch the train before it reaches a station, right? So by the time you realize that it's in an uptrend, something like this, it would have probably already hit the target and, you know, um, buying on a pullback over here could be a bit risky. So there are early signs that we look for. I'm not going to go into every single detail as um, that is more um, for the um, mentorship program. But I will give you guys a few tips in this lesson. Okay. So first, you don't want to catch a move um, that is aggressively coming down. Okay. Constantly making lower lows and lower highs. And you don't want something that is obviously trending downwards, right? If it's aggressively coming down, it will be perhaps and you know constantly breaking the legs, right? That it created while it was moving up like this, right? So when something is coming down, it will be breaking all. It will be undoing all that work that something like this did, right? So you have an, a downtrend, right? This will be a typical example of going against a trend. So this is not something that we want too long. We could short this, right? Until it doesn't float through the trend. It doesn't have an aggressive move up. We can keep shorting this, right? So then the fourth point is um, it's having a difficult time breaking the downtrend, right? So all of these downtrends that it has created while uh, going down, it'll be very difficult for it to um, break these. And even if it does, right, which is point number, um, it's it's actually part of point number four. Even if it does flow through the trend like this, right, and even has a hard close, you will see it to be a very weak looking accumulation candle, right? So that is an indication that, you know, that hard close means nothing. Um, it just, a lot of people, they think, oh, hard close, we're going up, going up. No, it's not as simple as that, you know. You have to watch out for a lot more things than that, okay. And also, usually, it's not two candles in a row. So, let's say if it floats through this trend, just for simplicity purposes, I will, I will remove one of the trends from here. I'll remove, um, yeah, let's remove this one, right. So, let's say if it actually floats through this trend over here like this, right? I will actually draw this, uh, where's the tool? Yeah, right here. So if it floats through this trend, right? And, you know, even has a um, accumulation candle over here, it'll be very small, weak looking candle, right? Not creating any ranges for us to buy. So, yeah, funky looking drawing, but <laughs> You guys know what I mean. And it will not be two candles in a row. So it won't be like, you know, good two solid candles like that in a row. Um, you could have two candles in a row. Um, if, if they're very weak looking, it's, it's all the same, right? Um, the point is, you know, it, it's very different compared to if it floats through the trend and aggressively tries to create, you know, these big looking candles like these, right? Hence creating a possible range within here for us to buy or possible hold within here for us to buy, right? Those are our capital injection points. So that's what you have to watch out for um, in the with the knife catching scenario. On the other side, uh, safer buy obviously is something that is constantly trending up, right? So while it is trending up, and not aggressively just going up, you know, making those big, 
humongous candles, right? But slowly going up like this while having these small pullbacks. These small pullbacks are basically ranges or whole levels that it keeps creating. So we could buy these, right? So, so something like this, I'll actually mark this, right? Something like this will be a buying opportunity. So when it actually goes up over here on the pullback over here, this is where we buy it, right? Um, why is the control Z not working? I don't know, I've been having this issue with trading view for the past couple of days. Um, okay, and then same thing over here, right? This is also an, a buying opportunity, and then if this comes down, you know, this is also buying opportunity. So this is basically what we're looking for, right? <clears throat> this is a, a safer way to buy something because it's clearly trending up, right? It's, it's, uh, trending upwards like that so the same thing over here just as we talked about um, you know not catching scenarios just an upside down um, uh, you know way of looking at a knife catch if you're trying to short this it'll be very risky right now <clears throat> so buy on a pullback you know these small pullbacks as I told you that this is where it will give you your buying opportunities like something like this will be a buying opportunity or something like you know of course it could be like a back side over here front side I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the front side back side I want this lesson to be simple right so anyways could be something within here right this entire if we're creating this as a range so now um, so and also the the downtrend must be broken obviously if 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 you know move looks something like this would have broken the downtrend right um and would have broken like downtrend and established downtrend like this you see how it just broke this trend and then we adapt that trend and we put it over here it broke that again right um and the more times it breaks it the you know um the better because then you have a solid uptrend being formed right so and it must it must not have hit the target yet. You see like how it I've written over here that, you know, something hits an important target and then after that obviously it will will be coming down, right? So trying to long um after it hits an important target or even trying to short if it hits an important target here at the bottom, um, you know, it it it'll be very risky, right? So um, of course, it could go lower, but we have to wait for the confirmation, right? Um, so, it must, not, it, it must not be aggressively coming down, right? So, it, it like you know, a safer buy is when something is not aggressively coming down. Whenever you see a move aggressively coming down, and you clearly see it's making lower lows and lower highs, you know, don't don't go against the trend, or don't try to short something that's constantly making higher highs and higher lows, right? So. We'll, we'll take a look at a few examples that I've laid out for you guys over here, right? So, uh, again, not a knife catch, right? Um, just like I, I told you guys in the previous scenario, but, you know, here I drew it for you. Um, so this will be probably a very early buy. Uh, trend reversal is not confirmed because imagine it started trending upwards from here, right? So now buying this is way too early. You know, if you happen to actually um, hop on board until it gets to this point, you're very lucky, you know, but you're not going to be able to pull this off every single time, right? So this is a safer buy, even though there's not much percentage to be made from here to the eventual target or from here to the eventual target. You know, the higher you go, the, the, the less um, profit margin there is to be made, but the safer it is, right? The same thing over here, you know, if if it already hit a target over here, this is this is probably a safe buy because it's not immediately going to come down, but even ignoring the fact that it may have hit a target at the top, right? We don't know at this point. So ignore all of this part, right? Ignore all of this part. Imagine this part has not happened yet, right? And imagine the move is still, um, you know, uh, over here. So when you're buying this, this is probably too high because imagine, you know, how it went over here. So this, after hitting uh, whatever it hit over here, after this, a continuation of this, right? It's going to come down. So kind of combine this with this, right? So it's probably way too high. Like, you know, so imagine the pullback over here, buying this range or whatever whole level is over here. It's too high, right? But still, it's not a knife catch because, you know, a knife catches, you know, when it's aggressively coming out. So this, 
where the trend reversal is probably confirmed because you know you probably uh, you have like three touches over here of a trend also and even if you don't have three touches it just clearly trending down because making lower lows right it broke this first um, you know uh, leg over here and then it's broken breaking perhaps other legs over here you know while uh, going down so all of these are risky buys so even though we do have um, small um, opportunities that we could have bought this you know but it's it's a risky buy correct